Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the first video in learning how to crochet. And this video is also good if you are already a crocheter and just need a refresher. I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know to get started. So let's get started. In this video, you will learn what you will need to begin, how to prepare your yarn, slip knot and chain stitch. What you will need to begin. In order to start the journey of learning how to crochet, you will of course need a couple of tools. So the first thing that you are going to need is your yarn. I'm using this one. Of course you can use the yarn according to your weather and your own choice. But please have a look at the yarn label and it will tell you what size crochet hook you will need. I have selection here because they do come in all different shapes and sizes. You also need scissors or daring needle to tie off your ends when we get to that stage. Also stitch marker will come in really handy but it's not necessarily important when you are just starting out. Preparing your yarn. You want to start by removing your yarn bands and then you want to unravel some yarn so that's nice and easy when you are working with it you can either choose to work from the center of the yarn ball or from the outside it's totally up to you but please make sure that you unravel enough because this will help when it comes to your tension so how to do the slip knot so to do a slip knot you want to take the end of your yarn and wrap it around your finger bring it forward to make an x like i am doing pinch that in your hand that's holding the yarn grab the yarn that's attached to the ball and wrap it around your finger and again pinch in between your fingers and thumb take the back loop and bring it over the front loop and there you have your slip knot how to do the chain stitch we are then going to take our crochet hook and insert it into the slip knot pull down on the attached piece of yarn now we are ready to start our chain you are going to wrap your yarn around the hook where we have created the tension you then want to grab the yarn with your crochet hook and bring your crochet hook towards you and through the loop that's chain so i will show you that again you want to go around the yarn and then grab it and pull it through around grab the yarn and pull it through when you wrap your yarn around the hook this is called yarn over and will be used in many different techniques throughout crochet so yarn over and pull through the loop yarn over and pull through the loop so let's take a look at what we are doing we have done so far we have created a series of chains as you look at these chains we are showing you if you look at the chains they always look like these so i have done one two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten we created ten so that we can start to build some more stitches on top of this in our next videos do practice again and again and try to make slip knot and chain so we got 10 chains now look at this chain and get used to some of the terms which you see in crochet so as you see this v as we are looking at the chain you have a top loop and a bottom loop if i twist this round 
you see a series of bumps along the back side of and they are called the back bumps a couple of common mistakes are when you crochet too tight so when you pull through you are pulling too tight on your tension and you can't get your hook through in which case you just want to ease off another mistake is when you do it too loose and you pull it on hook and make your chain too loose so i would highly recommend that you practice this over and over until you get the technique correct and then we can move on the actually doing some stitches thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel